last year, I have to tell you, uh, I suppose you already saw it, but uh, last year I went to the, to, the, to the March of the Gays in mm -hmm. Bogota. Mm -hmm. so, so the march was like, like full of people. And the, the people from Sentido asked me to do the coverage. So there were a lot of people with these dresses and the flowers and the feathers and the nails all polished like yours. So, I, and there were so people like I couldn't identify if they were like a man or a woman, right? So they explained me that, that there are some people called non-binary, non non-binary. Non non, yeah, non-binary, yeah. Non yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but I really don't understand. Yeah. So, so can you explain a little bit what, what is that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So we grow up being told that you have to pick one, right? Boy or girl, man or woman, male or female. There's only two options. But I actually think humans are so beautiful and our souls are so big that we can't be divided into just two categories. We have to have other options. And so non-binary people are people who are neither a boy nor a girl. There's so much more than that. And there's as many ways to be non-binary as there are non-binary people. So my gender is going to maybe be different than another non-binary person that you meet. A lot of people get scared by difference, but I think that that difference is what makes humanity exciting. Imagine how boring the world would be if we all were the same. Oh, yes. <laughs> Without me, for example. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. I, I, I promise I will, I will keep trying understanding uh, uh, non-binary a bit because, because sometimes I, I, think, I think that in my neighborhood there is a non-binary person. Yeah. It's important not to assume anyone's gender based off of what they look like, right? So what we can do is we can ask someone, hi, what's your name? What are your pronouns? So that becomes a way of saying, hey, tell me who you are on your own terms. Because there are some people who might look more visibly androgynous who are still men or women. Maybe they're not non-binary. We don't know until we ask them. It's confusing. It's confusing, I must say. But thank you so much. This was Auntie Nohara, influencer for Sentido.